All right, guys, fishing the Toyota Series on Harris Chain this week. Currently making the run over to Lake Apopka. Got lucky and got a good boat draw for this tournament, boat number 13. So, got a, got about a day and a half of practice out on Apopka. It was pretty decent, caught a couple big fish, but nothing nothing too crazy. Found a couple fish in some offshore hydrilla. I think that's what I'm gonna start on. We just had a big cold front move through. It's been really warm. Uh, a lot of people have been catching them kind of flipping the reeds, so I'm pretty sure they're still fishing the reeds. We might go check that later in the day. But those offshore hydrilla fish, I think, are going to be a little bit less affected by this cold front. So we're going to probably start off on those, see if we can get a few big fish, and then maybe as it starts to warm up, go and flip some reeds. So we'll see how it ends up. It's pretty windy out there, so we'll see uh, We'll see how bad it is offshore. Give it a go for a little bit, kind of regroup from there, and then figure out what we're going to do tomorrow, because I'll be one of the last boats tomorrow. So we won't be getting into a popka anytime soon. But we'll see what we can do, guys. Stay tuned. Have three people already gone through? No. Or the first ones? I don't understand why it ain't written. Yeah, we're one, two, and three. They still got that door open over there. I don't know what he did. Just Is there somebody up there? They obviously know we're coming. There you go. He's co He's coming. I'm gonna do like one if I have a good bag, 130 if I'm still working on it. Yeah. I mean, there's no guarantees, you know. This, this lake's notorious for cold front. When it gets cold, it's usually a later by. They shut down, yeah. Hell, when you're about to left, you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta do it. <laughs> There's one. What? Nah, he's not big. Big one. Come on this side. Thank you. Three and a half. Another one. He's a little. Yeah. <laughs> Big one. He's not that big. Come on, he just got me hung up in the grass. I felt huge when I stepped into him. Take too long to get five. Just need some big ones now.
I got him, I got him. Uh, yeah, that might be a better one. He's like a three pounder. Maybe bigger. <laughs> Thank you. right when it went in there. <laughs> Not a bad one. Just need one big one and I'll have a decent bag. Nah, I don't got much. catch him anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. He smoked it. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I just had a big one follow me up. Oh, God. It was like a five pounder. Oh, come on, get it. <laughs> Not as big as I thought. What? It's a long time. This maybe must be popular down here in these parts. Five bass. Tournament limit for Greco. Going to weigh 14 pounds, three ounces into four place right now. Got hold two of them up. Uh, something special in there. We'll see them. Ah, nothing, nothing too great. Nothing too great. I'll save them for a little bit later. <laughs> yeah, save them for tomorrow, right? <laughs> I hear you. Well, we had a pretty good day one, 14-3. That's me sitting in 15th place, so not bad. The weights are really tough. 
Uh, kind of figured they would be a little bit on the lower side, but not quite as low as they were. Top 25 right now, sitting at only 12, 14. Check range is like 10 pounds. So. That cold front and wind definitely affected those fish. Um, I mean, the run to Apopka sort of panned out. I mean, it was it was decent. I mean, I got 12 pounds off of there and then went and caught that three pounder, which really, really helped the cause. So today I'm basically the last boat. I'm gonna kind of junk fish my way through a couple of lakes and then decide if I need to make that run back to Apopka. I caught basically all those fish off of one cast. So if I can get in there and uh, fish for an hour to two hours, which is probably about all I would have if I end up walking through, might be able to get enough weight to, to be where I need to be. Really, I just need about 12 pounds to make top 25, but I mean, another 14 would put me in really solid position. Anything over that would would really bump me up. So I'm just gonna, gonna kind of have to see how the day plays out. I got a long day to make it happen, 5.30 check-in. So I'm just gonna kind of bounce around. The reason I'm not running straight to Apopka is because they only let three boats at a time in. And each lock cycle takes about 30 minutes. So the last uh, lock cycle that actually went through that ran over there yesterday was one o'clock. So, I mean, there's no point of running over there. First thing, mainly, uh, I mean, it, you just need to fish around. There's no point of running there and waiting. So I'm gonna fish for a couple hours, kind of see how everything plays out and then make the call from there. So goal for today, uh, at least 12 pounds to make the top 25, but I wanna be in contention to win this thing. So let's shoot for like an 18 plus pound bag and, and that'll put me in solid con contention. But my buddy, Bobby Bakewell, he's, uh, he's leading with 27 pounds. Second place is 19. So he's got a pretty decent lead over us. So. We got some work to do, but if I can make it to Thursday, which is the third day of the tournament, I think I can catch a really big bag out of Apopka because it's warming up and those big fish should be biting. Those Apopka fish do not like the cold, but a couple days post cold front, starting to warm up. It'll be like 80 tomorrow. Could go down in there, so just gotta make it tomorrow. for about five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a minute. I'm gonna head that way. What, you think there's still gonna be a line? You got anything? This is the biggest one so far. I've got like five for five pounds. This one's pound and three quarter. That lock's getting slower and slower. Is it? You heading out too? I'll show you my spot, Mr. I mean, Five thirty. He's leaving too. Oh, really? 
So I'll make the next one. If I catch one big one right away, I'll just leave. Yesterday I was leaving about this time. Yeah, this is what time I locked back yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> what time did the last set of boats lock through yesterday? Uh, four o'clock. And they didn't make it back. This is getting slower and slower every time I run it. How long is it taking? Anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes. How many have come back already? Just one. Really? I got tied out there. You all make the 31, 31st boat. So it's going to be a mess. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna be pushing it. If I catch one. <laughs> if I catch one decent fish, we're just leaving. Cause this is gonna, if only one boat's come back, this is gonna take a while to get back through. No. Big one. Net. Oh, no. I got him, I got him. <laughs> Thanks. No, you're good. He took off when I hooked him. I thought he was going to be a big one. We're going to get stuck down here if we don't go now. The math isn't adding up. There's like 30 some boats and only like five have gone back. There's gonna be people that aren't gonna make it. The math doesn't add up. There's no way that 30 went through and only one had come back. Well, like 32 went through, one came back and then there was like five waiting. It's gonna be at least four hours worth of locking to get everybody back. No one catches one in there. <laughs> yeah, no one's, no one's coming. We can fish our way over. Yeah, because we got like three lock cycles before we get in there. And I had to make the risk because any one of those fish could have been a big one. Still called up by like a pound. Back out already, Chris? What's that? Coming back out already? I didn't want to get stuck. I don't have anything, but well, there was... There was like 30 some boats that locked through when I locked in, which was like 30, 30 minutes ago. I just fished for like 20 minutes and only like five had come back through. So I started doing the math and I was like, everyone's going to show up at the same time and I'm going to get, I'm going to get stuck. We're going to make it. No. Bobby ain't going to make it. Nope. At minimum three won't make it. Probably six. Fished in here last year with Justin Lucas the second day. We did the same thing. We like twelve thirty we got in there, we fished for an hour and we left. Yeah, there's just too many people going down there and with the lock being so slow, it's just you can't get any time. But I mean, if one of the three bites that I had in 30 minutes was an eight pounder, then it would've been worth it.
yesterday, five more today. <laughs> you think? Well, how many are they paying? Oh, okay. Well, guys, tough day today, but at least caught enough weight to get a check. Ended up finishing 37th place and uh, just made it through the Apopka lock. So, I don't know if you guys could tell or if I really mentioned it, but. Ran into a popka, ended up fishing for about 25 minutes. So when I was locking through, I was boat 32 that was locking through. And the lady at the lock said that only one boat had locked back. And then once I got through, there was about five boats waiting right there. So I started doing the math in my head on how many boats would have to come back through and how much each lock cycle was taking and came to realize that not everyone was gonna make it back through on time. There was just no way possible mathematically that everybody was going to make it back on time um so i fished for like 25 minutes caught a few fish that called up like I, I think i called up maybe two pounds which isn't much but ended up getting me a check saw a couple boats start running back and so i just scratched it i just ran back i was not going to get i didn't want to get caught um in the back of that line because i knew that whoever was going to be the last three to six boats that showed up at the lock. They weren't going to make it on time no matter what time their check-in was. And I had a late, the latest check-in. So ended up running back <coughs> um, and it took like an hour, hour and a half to get back through. And come to find out, my lock cycle was actually the last one that made it back through the locks. The next three guys that went into the locks, the lock actually broke. And so like nine or ten boats didn't make it back. So definitely a good call to uh, to abandon that because if not, I would have gotten stuck back there on a popco, wouldn't have been able to weigh my fish. And I knew that I had kind of like right on the check line worth of fish uh, in, in the box at the time. And I figured on the way back, I'd have like an hour, hour and a half to fish. Figured maybe I'd catch a two, three pounder on the way back, which didn't end up happening. Kind of thought that I was right there where I needed to be and didn't want to throw away two grand. So good call. Um, just gotta just gotta have that strategy sometimes especially when you're dealing with blocks and especially the apopka lock on the harris chain there's a lot of strategy that goes into uh fishing apopka so i mean one i think i caught three fish when i ran through in the 20 25 minutes all of them small obviously but i mean one of those fish would have ended up being a solid solid keeper for like a three or four pounder I think is all I ended up needing to make the top 25 so if one of those fish would have ended up being a big one then it would have been a good call but I mean regardless it was still a good call in my opinion because I called up to the weight that I needed to get a check so but I mean fished fished what I could fish um didn't didn't make any bad decisions didn't lose anything so did about all I could do out there today and we ended up with seven and a half pounds that's that's just how it goes so that's the tournament. That's tournament fishing. That's how this tournament unfolded. But got to check. That's uh, that's all you can really ask for at the end of the day. So appreciate you guys tuning into this video. First day was decent. Second day, not as good. But hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of watching the process of me going through this tournament. So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, Going to be fishing a couple more tournaments coming up. So some more videos on the way as we kind of enter into mid-tournament season. Appreciate it, guys. We will see you at the next one.